Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and this is your Tuesday weekly predictions for the NFL. Now, uh, admittedly, this week I'm going to be a little lazy, which is uh, really my default the way that I am. And um, I am recording this on Monday, so and earlier than Monday Night Football. So we do not know the results of the Monday night game in which I picked the Cardinals to beat the Rams. Now, hopefully that happens. Hopefully you're watching this video and you're saying, hey, the Cardinals beat the Rams and the sportsman was 12-2 and two this week because here's the card. Here is exactly the scenario. If the Cardinals win Monday night football. I will be in 12 and 2 this week, and I will be 127 and 81 on the season, which puts me far over 600. I would be at 61.1%. But hey, the good news is, even if the Cardinals lose to the Rams on Monday night football, I will still be 11 and 3 this week. Incredible. This was an incredible week. I'm here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. For the sports man. 11 and 3 this week and 126 and 82, which would still put me over 60%. So, uh, on the um, on the heels of an just crazy good week, which clearly is my best week so far this season. I am back. I'm back in the big house. I'm back at 60%. So yeah, I'm loving it. We have to stay over 60%. I'm looking for that. Now, also this week, things get real. Okay. Nobody else, nobody's on a buy anymore. No buys. It's bye-bye for some teams like my bears. <laughs> But there is no team on a bye this week. That means everybody plays. It also means there are 16 games this week. Benny, bring me everyone. What do you mean everyone? Everyone! So we will delve into them. And not only that, but this is the first week that there will be Saturday games. There will be two Saturday games. Now, why the NFL can start the season with 16 games, everybody playing, and get them all in on Sunday, but now all of a sudden they have to use Saturday, I don't know. But anyway, I digress. We're going to start with December 16th, the day before my brother's birthday. And we are going to talk about the Chiefs playing the Chargers, with the Chargers being at home. Now, if you saw the Chiefs systematically carve up Las Vegas, and you've been following the Chargers, you know, yeah, we're going with the Chiefs. We're going to take the big kahunas, the big Chiefs, pound the drum. Chiefs win that one. Now, that brings us to the Saturday, December 18th games, which is the day after my brother's birthday. He just misses any games on his birthday this, this year. And uh, the first one is going to be the aforementioned Raiders playing the Browns in Cleveland. Now, Cleveland looked good in the first half last week against the, Ra the uh, Ravens. They went out to like a 24-3 lead or a 23-6 to lead, something like that. But they had to hang on late. But the Raiders got destroyed by Kansas City. But that was Kansas City. I'm going to go with the Raiders. I think the Raiders are going to beat the Browns. The Browns are beat up. And um, they are, they've got some injured guys. And as Baker Mayfield alluded to, they tend to play a conservative offense if they get ahead. So we'll see what happens with that. Now here's another, here's a surprising one, okay? You got the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium or whatever the heck they play at against the Patriots. The Patriots have been hot. They have been scalding hot, but really so have the Colts. 
Although I think the Colts were on a bye week and so was New England. I think both were on a bye week in week 13. And now we are moving, or no, week 14. And now we are moving on to week 15. Did I say that in the opening? This is week 15. Anyway, we are going to go with the Colts. Yeah, that's a shocker, isn't it? Yeah, I'm taking the Colts. I think the Colts are going to win that game somewhat because they're home. But really, both teams are hot. Both teams are they're playing great football right now, except for the fact they didn't either. One of them played last week. Um, and now you got the next one is the um, you got the Jags are playing at home against the Texans. Now you remember in week one these two teams met, and I picked the Texans, and the Texans came through for me. But as a friend of mine once said, in divisional matchups, it's very difficult for a team to beat you twice. So we're going to go with the Jags. I mean, really, both teams are bad. Both teams are probably hoping to get the number one draft pick. Um, so, and in the Jaguars case, that would be again. Um, so, but, you know, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with the Jaguars. I think probably Urban Meyer wants to get a, another win on his record. The next one we have, the Bills are at home playing the Panthers. Now, the Bills made a valiant comeback against the Buccaneers last week, but yeah, I know. We're going to go with the Bills. I mean, come on. Carolina, no. We are not going with Carolina. So, the Bill, take the Bills over the Panthers this week. Um, the next one we have is the Lions are at home against the Cardinals, right? No, no, we're going to go with the cards in this one. The Lions, you know, every once in a while they show some spunk, but they're not going to show some spunk against the good Cardinals team that might be the number one seed in the NFC when all is said and done. Maybe, I don't know. So the next one we're going to do is the um, the Steelers are at home against the Titans. And in this one, I'm going to go with the Titans. Let's go with the Titans in this one. Um, I know that the Steelers aren't a particularly good team, and I know I said a few weeks ago that I would never pick a bad team to beat. The Titans, but really the Steelers, they're not really a bad team. Plus the Titans did beat a bad team last week, so they broke out of that mold. And really they're the better team. I mean, the Steelers, once in a while you get a heroic performance by Roethlisberger, but no, I don't see that coming down the pike this time. Uh, next one we have down in Florida. It's going to be the Jets going to Florida to take on the Dolphins. And we are going to go with the Dolphins in this one. Yeah, get the Jets out. Let's go with the Dolphins, even though really the Dolphins are not all that great of a team. But they're better than the Jets. And the Jets let me down. I mean, you know, I only got two or three games wrong this past week. And one of them was the Jets. Because I thought the Jets would rise to the occasion and beat the Saints. The reeling Saints. But no, the Saints reeled them in. All right, so next game. Uh, we have the Giants at home against the boys. Yeah, yeah, we're throwing a lot of helmets here. We're going to go with the Cowboys over the Giants. They are a much better team. They have far more talent. They, even though, you know, McCarthy is not that great of a coach. He's at least a little better than uh, Joe Judge, who is the coach of the Giants. Is it Joe Judge? I knew it was some guy that played for the uh, Washington Senators back in the 1920s. But anyway, um, yeah, I, we're going to go with the Cowboys there. Next one you got um, the... Uh, the Eagles are at home against the Washington football team. 
but I'm going with the Washington football team. Yeah, I know the Eagles had a big win the last time I saw them play because I think they were off last week too. I think so. But we're going to go with Washington in that one. Uh, yeah, take the Washington football team. They have been showing themselves to be, to have a lot of spunk. They lost in week 14, but uh, they, they put up a good fight against the Cowboys. Actually, it was. They came back and they, they lost, I think, 27-20. So, I think they might beat the Eagles. The next one we've got, the uh, Broncos are at home against the Bengals. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going with the Broncos. Man, that defense, that defense is playing great. And um, the Bengals are erratic. I think they're still young. I think they're still working the kinks out. I mean, I don't know what you would, how you would classify the Broncos, but they have a good defense, and they can shut some people down. So, and they're playing at home, which, again, could be in a snowstorm for all we know. So let's take the Broncos in that one. The next one is the 49ers at home against the Falcons. Yeah, sorry, Matt. We're going to go with the with the 49ers in this one. So, um, yeah, of course they're going to lose to the Falcons, but I'm going to pick the 49ers. But, uh, you know, if you're betting on the game, you probably want to bet on Atlanta because I just picked the 49ers and every time I pick them to win they lose and every time I pick them to lose they win so that's just a thing that the 49ers and I have going on this year um, next one you got is the Rams are at home against the Seahawks and in this one this is a, you know what this is a close one to call even though the Seahawks are having a terrible season but I'm going with the Rams let's pick the Rams on yeah. All right, we're getting down. We're getting down now. Uh, if you're still with me, thank you. And in fact, go to the end of the video. Watch to the end of the video. So we are going to the next game, which is the Ravens are at home against the Packers. The Ravens have all kinds of problems. I don't even expect um, uh, Jackson to play at quarterback uh, this game. I think it's going to be... Um, Huntley, so, and really, I mean, Green Bay is just a wrecking crew. They're wrecking everybody in their way, you know. Even the Bears. The Bears showed some spunk against them, but no. They said, you know what, we're just going to deny you. So let's go with Green Bay to beat the Ravens. The Sunday night game is going to be the Buccaneers at home against the Saints. Yeah, right. I mean, the Saints won last week, but that's only because they played the Jets. So we're going to go with the Buccaneers, who hung on and won in overtime against the Bills. So, um, I mean, not that they need that as motivation or as some indication that they're a great team, because they are. They just they won the Super Bowl last year. I mean... And now the Monday night game, December 20th, you got the Bears playing at home against the Vikings. Divisional matchup. The Vikings always seem to not rise to the occasion when they have to, and they will have to this time. So I'm going to still go with the Vikings. I'm going to set up that no-lose situation where if the Bears win, hey, my team won. Although really that's not even a good thing anymore. You really want them to be as bad as possible to get the highest possible pick next year. But I'm going to take the Vikings in that game. And that concludes everything I got because, hey, there are no buys this week. So what did you guys think? Leave a comment below. You can let me know what games you differed with me on. If you like my picks, I mean, there's one guy out there, like, every week, he says, I picked exactly what you picked. I don't know. So, anyway, if you want to say that, go ahead and say it. I love it when people agree with me. And, um, or if you want to leave me all your picks, or if you want to just leave a link to your video with your picks in it, I will go check that out, too. But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.